few of you out there. We do it for health and fitness. We do it for fun and because it makes economic sense. We do it because every bike trip cuts carbon emissions and it reduces congestion. Biking's good for the environment. Making bikes easier to buy is good public policy. Making green choices more expensive is bad public policy. 30 years ago, a provincial finance minister named Hugh Curtis, who happened to be the MLA for Senate South at the time, exempted bikes from provincial tax because he recognized they were green transportation. He was ahead of his time. Today, we're here to demand there be no HST on bikes. At a rally, at a rally fittingly convened by the current MLA for Senate South, Lana Popham. Lana's made it her personal mission to help the government get the wax out of its ears. She's done a tremendous job of marshalling our individual reactions against HST on bikes, first into a petition, today into this rally, to enlarge the voice that's telling government it's wrong to tax bikes. Please join me in welcoming Miss No HST on Bikes, a local cyclist who's a force to be reckoned with, Lana Popham. Thank you so much. Can you hear me? Great. What an amazing turnout. I want to hear all those bike bells. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here today. There are people today who have come from Vancouver. There are people who have cycled over the Malahat. They're just to show their support for this rally. I want to send a special shout out to the local bike shops that have been so supportive. They've even closed their shops down for this hour so that they can be here with their staff. Thank you so much. I want to thank the people that make our bikes who have put this rally up on their websites. Brody Bikes, uh, Rocky Mountain and Kona have been very supportive. Thanks so much. I think Brody even sent some of their reps over, so thanks for making the effort. effort. There's also a rally going on in Nanaimo today at 4 o'clock. Stop the HST on bike, so thanks for the effort up in Nanaimo. I know that you all lead busy lives and you're uh, taking time out from work and play to be here today uh, just to help send this message to government. I really appreciate it. I know from talking to people in government that protests like this do make a difference. I know the government is watching and they're listening today. They know as well as I do that there are many more people that feel and share our views. No HST on bikes in BC. with enough conviction, with a clear message, they have to listen. We want this government to support green transportation choices. This is not rocket science. <laughs> Maybe to them it is. We expect our government to take leadership and to facilitate a societal shift towards sustainable transportation. We need investments in buses, light rail. We need investment in zero emissions transportation modes like cycling and walking. We need sustainability to be a part of every dis decision that this government makes. This government has it backwards. Look at how the HST will exempt fuel, making the carbon tax ineffective at changing behavior. Another lost opportunity to fight climate change. But I think we can turn this around. It's not too late for the government to start making decisions that truly reflect the environmental crisis that we're in.
I am really proud to announce that this afternoon I'll be submitting on your behalf a petition to the legislature. It calls on the government to reverse its plan to impose a 7% tax on bikes and it's been signed by almost 5,000 people including 300 bike shops and cycling supporters. In terms of cycling, my petition and the rally are just the beginning. In the process of organizing these efforts, I've created a new BC network with thousands of cyclists and hundreds of bike stores and cycling coalitions. We are a potent province-wide constituency that includes people from all walks of life and range of political views. I won't stop until we are successful in making BC government bike-friendly again. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. Thanks for your support.